Calcium is an important nutrient during pregnancy. And if you're not getting enough from your diet, you may need a supplement. In today's video, we'll discuss calcium supplements during pregnancy, how to know whether or not you need one, which type to take and what dose. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a fertility and prenatal dietitian. I help people have healthy babies and give their baby the best possible start in life through the power of good nutrition. You can find more info about my work at melaniemcgrice.com. Now calcium is an essential nutrient during pregnancy. Your baby needs calcium to grow strong bones and teeth, to grow a healthy heart, nerves and muscles, and to develop a normal heart rhythm and blood clotting abilities. Although your calcium requirements don't increase during pregnancy, they stay at your normal levels depending upon your age. So 1300 milligrams per day for women under the age of 18 and 1000 milligrams per day for the rest of us. So although they don't necessarily increase, many women that I see don't get enough calcium in their diet to start with. Now, in addition to meeting the needs of your developing baby, calcium is important to prevent a condition called preeclampsia. Now, preeclampsia is a pregnancy condition which is characterized by high blood pressure. It can be very dangerous for you or your baby. Women with low calcium intakes of less than 600 milligrams per day have an increased risk of developing this condition. So it's another reason why you may need to double check your calcium intake. And there's one more important reason too. Research has found a relationship between low calcium levels and increased frequency and intensity of muscle cramps during pregnancy. But before I recommend the best type of calcium supplements for you to look for, I want to make it clear to you that you are by far better off meeting your calcium requirements through food if you can. Calcium supplements can be contaminated with lead one report from the US identified that eight out of 23 nationally available calcium carbonate products contain small amounts of lead. Now, we are only talking about tiny amounts, but food is definitely a safer option, especially during pregnancy. But more practically, the calcium from food is also absorbed more easily than the calcium from supplements. So the best sources of dietary calcium are the small edible bones, which are found in fish like sardines, dairy products like yogurt, milk and cheese, and seeds such as sesame seeds. Now, if you're not sure if you're getting enough, I'd recommend that you keep a food diary for a couple of days and then add up your calcium intake. Or just make an appointment to see a prenatal dietitian. Now, if you do need a calcium supplement, make sure that you follow these guidelines. Firstly, make sure that you don't take any more than 500 milligrams of calcium at any one time, as large doses won't be absorbed. Secondly, don't take calcium supplements at the same time as your pregnancy multivitamin, as it can impact the absorption of other nutrients such as iron. Thirdly, Calcium citrate is the best type of calcium supplement as it's more easily absorbed, but it is more expensive. Number four, if you are going to have calcium carbonate supplements, make sure that you do take them with food. And number five, if you're relying on calcium fortified beverages like an almond milk or soy milk, just be careful because absorption from, of calcium from those types of drinks is generally less than the calcium absorbed from milk. Now, if you've got any further questions, feel free to post in the comments box below. And if you haven't yet downloaded my free pregnancy meal plan, you can do so by going to www.melaniemcgrice.com pregnancy. And before you go, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, then I'll look forward to seeing you 
in my next video. Ah, uh, uh, bleh, bleh. bit so. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>